What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Funboxing with Will. I'm your host, Will, with H2O Co. Film and Photo, and today we're going to be doing a review on a nifty little gadget that I've had my hands on for the last, I'd say, about a week, and I've had a lot of fun with it. It's become a very useful part of my gear bag, and it's called the Anchor Nebula Capsule 2, and it is a projector that is a module projector you can take around with you anywhere. So uh, let's learn some more about this product and get into that review. Alrighty, everybody, uh, before we get into the review, I just want to thank everybody who's here to check out this video, uh, whether you're a subscriber or not, I really appreciate you coming and stopping by here. Uh, I try to put out a lot of reviews around uh, any kind of gadgets, electronic tech, um, some EDC comes in as well, and I've... Uh, it's been a little while since I put out a video. I've been trying to find new relevant items to review, uh, but I haven't worked anything out with anyone yet. I'm trying to find a company that might be able to send me some items to review for you guys and keep these reviews more relevant and up to date. Uh, but I do have friends, and fortunately, I have friends that trust me with their $500 projector systems. So I am gonna be able to do a review on this new product that a friend lent me. I wanted to give him a big shout out. His name is Slade, and uh, his Instagram is at Slade AZ. Now, basically, this is a projector um, that he had picked up. He wanted something, a new toy that he could play with, something he could take with him camping, I think he said, so that he could um, watch movies and stuff while he was out in nature under the stars. And, uh, you know, laptops are awesome, tablets are awesome, but to be able to put up a, basically a 100-inch TV screen anywhere that you're at, um, I find it very useful. So I, I talked to him into letting me borrow it for about a week, and over the last week, I've been messing with it every day constantly, and it's become an essential part of my gear bag, so much so that I'm probably going to go out and buy one as soon as I return this one to him. Uh, so I have some specs that I pulled up on it, and I'm going to get through the specs first and then I'm going to talk about my personal experiences with the item itself. Um, so basically the specs are as follows. Its height is about 5.9 inches so it's almost 6 inches tall. Its diameter is 3.14 inches in circumference and its weight is about 26.1 ounces. Uh, the display technology is a 0.3 inch HD DLP display. Its resolution is 1280 by 720 so it's HD it's not full HD. Uh, I would have liked to have seen it 4K, and I do know that they make models of these that are 4K, but they seem to be over $1,000 for a 4K one at this point in time still. Uh, the brightness is 200 ANSI lumens. 200 ANSI lumens is the brightness. Uh, the lamp life is about 30,000 hours, so basically the bulb in there for that projector is going to last you about 30,000 hours before it needs to be replaced. Uh, the aspect ratio are, is a standard 16 by 9, which most movies are filmed in these days. Uh, the throw ratio is 100 inches maximum, uh, 2.94 millimeters, or uh, si yeah, 60 inches, 1.76 meter meters is the lowest setting. So it goes from basically 40 inches of screen real estate up to 100 inches, depending on how far back from the wall or projector screen you have or anything that you're displaying the, the image on. The further you pull it back, the larger the image becomes, obviously, and uh, it can get up to about 100 inches, which is not too shabby for something this small. Um, let's see here. The offset is 100%. Focus adjustment is a one-second autofocus, and let me tell you, I have experienced this autofocus. It is amazing. It does a great job, even if something happens to sw switch position, like the other day I had it up against my wall, and my wife came in the room and opened the door, and so the picture changed to the back wall behind the hallway and the autofocus 
was like that, it was back. It was blurry for a half second and it adjusted itself. So that is very good. Uh, I can vouch for that myself on the autofocus there. Uh, the projection mode is front, rear, uh, ceiling, rear ceiling, and um, invert. So basically the cool thing about this also is that it is, um, you can project something directly onto a screen or you can use a rear projection where it basically mirrors the image. So you can put this behind a screen as well and project it facing an audience and it can go through a translucent screen and pretty much be in the correct positioning for them to read it. So it's pretty nifty with being able to have those options as far as where you can place it in the room. You can also hang it upside down from the ceiling if you need to, and you can flip the image with the options in there. It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little feature. Keystone correction, auto vertical uh, is 40 degrees. And then, um, so the interface is one of the interfaces, uh, one of the reasons that I like it so much. It's basically, universal uh you can you have bluetooth connectivity you have hardwired hdmi connectivity or usb so you can actually use a chromecast with this as well um it is technically a smart device so when you plug it in it already has android tv i believe 1.8 or 9.1 so you have your options to download applications like netflix youtube amazon prime hulu any of those streaming services uh you can just without any wires or Bluetooth connectivity at all, you can just hook this up and as long as you can connect this to the internet, you should be able to stream directly from the unit or you can hook it up Bluetooth to your phone and use your phone as the, the main device to pull up the media on and just send it to this wirelessly or you can do it through a HDMI cable. Uh, I did happen to pick up one of the HDMI cables for my DeX because I have a Samsung Galaxy. So if you have one and have used the DeX features, you know that to use those, you need a HDMI to USB-C adapter. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. I can put a uh, link to one in the description below. And then um, basically this just plugs into your phone's charging port and the other end plugs into the projector itself and you can control everything uh, with your cell phone as a mouse pad pretty much, which is really awesome. Um, we recently did a CPR training video, for, uh, my company did, for the local fire department to certify parents, foster parents to, uh, in CPR. And uh, one of the actors wasn't really confident with the script. So I was able to use the projector to put the script up on the wall behind the camera. And he was able to read the script almost like a teleprompter right there on set. Um, and it was also very useful when it came to doing table reads. I was able to bring this with me to the meeting and just pop up the information for all eight people to see at one time instead of everybody having to keep track of individual paperwork in front of them, which was a huge time saver. Uh, like I said, probably one of the reasons I will end up purchasing this in the end. Uh, the controls, uh, I'm sorry, so it's a USB type C charger um, and it's an auxiliary out cord that it comes with that has a, uh, it's just basically a little brick with a little power button or power cord you plug right into the back and that's how you charge it. It does have a two and a half hour charge capability. So you do not have to have it plugged in. Another amazing feature about it. Um, you can take it all cord free and take it wherever you want. And as long as it has a charge, you have enough capability and battery life to get through essentially one two and a half hour movie, which is pretty good for something the size. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the battery cap or capacity is, but I'm going to keep reading the, uh, the specs and hopefully it'll pop up here. Uh, the controls are the physical buttons on the top, the, the mode and, and you, so you have these like touch buttons on the very top of it here that you can control the entire display display through or there is a remote and you can use the remote and control it wirelessly. Um, I did notice that with the remote there was some kind of difficulty getting it to work from the side of the unit. I don't know why um, but it, it was definitely easy to use from the front or the back of the unit but some reasons sometimes when I was on the side of the unit I noticed like I'd press the volume up or down and it wouldn't register the button click that I had inputted until I moved around to the, slightly to the front of the unit. Um, and I don't know if that's normal on them all or if it's just this one that does that. It doesn't seem right to me, so I think it might be a malfunction in just this one unit. Um, but the hardware on the unit is a um, quad-core A53 chipset, that's the GPU, uh, the, the CPU, I'm sorry, the GPU is a quad-core Mali 450, 
two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, uh, eight gigabytes eMMC ROM. The battery, here's the amps on the battery. It's a nine, uh, 9,700 milliamp, 3.7 volt battery, which explains the two and a half hour um, output that you get from it. It also has an eight watt speaker, which is surprisingly loud. I have a echo device in my living room and it is one of the big things. It actually looks almost identical to this. It's I think the, the third, fourth generation tower. And this gets a lot louder than that, which is surprising because that's a pretty loud speaker. So it, it really does have some good quality um, Dolby sound and it does really immerse you into the movies. Uh, I had it set up behind my couch, kind of like a home movie theater and watched it with the family. And I'm gonna show some footage of that here in a second. Um, but the video, it really did get really, it was loud enough for us to enjoy it and even make the walls shake a little bit. We do have a thin walled apartment, but nonetheless, it did shake the walls a little bit. Uh, the Wi-Fi is at 802.11a bandwidth, I believe that means. Uh, dual frequency, 2.4 giga, or 2.4 slash 5 gigahertz. Uh, Bluetooth is Bluetooth 4 dual mode, A2 DP, and then it has a 30 decibel fan. So the fan running at 30 decibels is audible. You can hear it, but it's not so bad that it impedes the audio coming from the speaker in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it really does do a great job with that. And then the software it runs is the Android TV 9.0. Google Assistant supported, Chromecast supported. Working modes are the projector, Bluetooth speaker mode. Uh, so you could use it just as a Bluetooth speaker as well if you'd like. Uh, the app stores Google Play. The video playtime is 2.5 hours. Um, in standard mode. Charging time is about 2.5 hours to fully charge it. So it, it's not great on charging. It takes about the same amount of time as it as it takes to kill the battery to charge the battery, about two and a half hours. Uh, the audio formats support MP3, WMA, RM, FLAC, OG, and then it does HDR10 video codecs and uh, video formats that it supports are MKV, WMV, uh, MPG, MPEG, uh, DAT, AVI, MOV, ISO, MP4, RM, JPEG file formats. So basically any file format you can think of as far as video is concerned, this thing will play without any issues. Um, I had put down a couple downloaded videos and uploaded them into the thing. It has a memory, like I said, it's, um, it's a small memory. So, uh, and I don't believe that there's an external that, or I'm sorry, there's no external memory card slot. So the only memory you have is the internal memory. And once you fill that up, you won't be able to watch any more movies that have been stored on it. Fortunately though, because of the USB connectivity, if you wanna store movies on a flash drive or any other kind of storage device that has a connector or adapter to a flash drive, you can just plug that in and run it straight from there. So you could theoretically put a, a couple dozen movies on a real terabyte flash drive and just carry that with you and plug it directly into it and play it anywhere you are. So uh, that's about it for today's review, guys. Uh, I just wanna thank you guys again for stopping by and checking it out. If you found anything at all in this video useful or at all informative, please hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, if you wanna see more of this content, any kind of tech reviews, uh, EDC, pocket knives, high-end American-made pocket knife uh, reviews, or anything like that, please come back and check out my channel again. Uh, I'm getting close to about a thousand subscribers, so this is a really exciting time for me. I'm trying to build up more of a consistency with the videos that I put out. It's just been difficult for me to get new tech that I haven't already reviewed, um, but I'm working on it, and hopefully here pretty soon I'll be able to continuously weekly put out a new review, and that's my hope. So thanks again, guys. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a great night. Stay safe, and above all, stay creative. We need more of that in this world. Have a great night.